Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Uh, I'm gonna go over a concept really quick within charcoal, and I think it's very valuable. I use it in I use it in everything. I use it with pencil. I use it with um, uh, let me see what else. Yeah, pretty much everything digital. I use this concept everywhere, so I'm gonna teach it to you really quick. You've probably heard it before, but I want to make an entire video concentrating on it specifically with charcoal. So, uh, anyways, let's kind of we're gonna talk about edges. Edges, edges, is the subject of the video. If you guys like training videos on, on fine art, on, you know, drawing favorite characters, on just general art practices, on art discussions, you know, we're talking about like, hey, how does that affect you? Um, please do me a favor and please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that little bell icon so it'll give you a notification. There are ants over here, I'm just trying to kill them. So let's kind of get into the concept of edges. So when drawing anything, pretty much, I always use uh, pretty much three kinds of edges. Three, pretty much, uh, mostly. You can narrow them down. Obviously, everything in between, but you can narrow them down. There's going to be a soft edge. Right there, it's just kind of fuzzy. Think of, like, something fuzzy in terms of, like, out of focus. Soft edge. We're talking about the edge of the shadows, by the way, right? Um, firm. Kind of in between that, a little bit firm. Like, imagine, like, a focused lens. And then a hard, just pretty much a straight line, as straight as it can get. You know, let me make this a little bit more firm so it's obvious. Soft, firm, hard. Soft, firm, hard edge. And the way you use these um, is very important. And actually, if you just learn these three, you're going to be able to do shadow really well, uh, depending on what you're looking at. Um, for example, when you're looking at a ball, going to be a soft edge right here because it's it's a rounded form the shadow like coming from up here it's going to have this round form on it because it's a ball in contrast if you get like uh, a box excuse my crummy box here just trying to prove a point if you get that same thing, you're going to have this really hard edge right there. And that's going to, you know, cause, you know, the rest is going to be in dark over here. But that edge is sh sharp. Really sharp. It's it's really just a hard edge. So the way we'd use that, for example, would be like if you're, if you're drawing, uh, you know, like especially dramatic stuff. Um, especially like a face. If you're doing a face in um, you know, life drawing or you're just drawing a picture of someone. They don't really, you know, you're going to have a mixture of this stuff, for example. You're gonna have like the brow. I'm just gonna shorthand this stuff. It's gonna be coming to a firm over here. And then maybe you have like the nose here. One second. The nose here. And the cast shadow is gonna come down. It's gonna be sharp. That's going to be firm up there, and this is going to be sharp right here toward the bottom of the mouth. This is going to be a little bit more soft down here. But then you're going to have another sharp as the upper lip causes a cast shadow onto the lower face. Maybe sharp there. A little bit soft here. Maybe a little bit of firm to soft over here. Sharper here. Sharper there. Um, and let's say, you know, sharp underneath the chin here, but maybe that's causing cast shadow somewhere else. Soft along the face here. But uh, anyways, do you understand how that works? You know, and obviously I'm just building in the, the, the edges but you can start building in the edges of something and then kind of find the features within it later. But um, that's kind of how I'm applying it. You, this is all over the face. Soft, hard, whatever. Uh, when you go over an arm, the same thing. You know, we go over an arm. Let's say there's like a upper bicep or something like that. It's going to have like soft deltoid. Cause a cast shadow here. And then maybe it might roll into the uh, tricep over there. Um, right here, 
it gets a pretty cool look, you know? It's just like a practice look, though. I wouldn't really get attached to it. But, um, you know, the soft, firm, and hard. Start seeing those, you know? Look at pictures. You're going to see them all over pictures. I mean, you know, you're, it's basically a shorthand, you know, to start and then kind of go into the actual drawing and, like, you know, really finesse stuff out. But, I mean, it's a really, really good um, way to start. And, um, you know, it really lets you see stuff. You can see it in nature. You can see it all over the place. So check that out. Soft, firm, and hard. Those are, like, pretty much the way I see almost everything at the start. And then I start going into variations and things like that. Soft, firm, hard. And that's something I use in charcoal constantly. Anyways, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys learned something. I really do. Uh, if you guys did, please hit that like button. And also, don't forget, uh, there's going to be a lot of lessons like this and others. It's going to be, um, I'm going to try to update maybe three times a week. So please subscribe and also hit that uh, you know bell icon to get those notifications. I will see you guys in the next video.